Looking back at my journey, I remember this day super vividly. Back in 2016, I worked back in my home country. I worked for a company that I hated. I worked in a completely toxic environment. I was doing things that I did not enjoy doing at all. It was something like an intersection of sales and call calling. And I remember I would call my mom because I really needed to get it off my chest. And of course, she was trying to support me by saying things like, you know, it's just a job and sometimes you have to do things that you don't really enjoy doing. But I I remember that from that day on I decided to prove at least to myself first and foremost that I'm capable of landing a job that I would enjoy doing every single day of my life and eventually at the age of 21 I landed my very first digital marketing job and uh, I progressed in my career quite well. I ended up leading a digital marketing unit uh, at a software company. I traveled to a bunch of places because of my job. And nowadays I can basically work from any location in the world I'd prefer because, well, I can work remotely as a digital marketer. And um, I just want to share my story because I'm just an ordinary human being, just like you all are. And uh, in case this story can inspire and help at least one person on this planet to change their career, to find a job that they would love, this will make me forever happy. And by the way, if you become this person, please let me know in the comments. In this video, I want to share what resources I've used to land my first marketing job, what I did to get invited to my first marketing job interview, and uh, what things helped me accelerate my career and progress in my career. Let's do it. If you want to get a personalized advice about how to get started in the world of digital marketing, if you want to get recommendations that would work specifically for your case, feel free to book a personalized consultation with me by sending an email. You can find all the details in the description below. Let's draw a very simple timeline and follow that. 2013, I was accepted at a university in Finland and I was studying business administration, a super broad area where you learn kind of everything and nothing. Uh, and uh, we had a digital marketing course during my first year of studies and we had an amazing Malaysian professor. I kind of fell in love with the way she was teaching us and I'm thankful to her because she sort of introduced me to the world of digital marketing. But of course, back then, all the studies related to digital marketing, they were kind of theory based. Um, they were a lot about the traditional practices or cases about McDonald's, um, I don't know, Ford, uh, some really boring uh, literature that does not help you in uh, work life at all. But in any case, I was eating up different books in the library about digital marketing. And then I graduated with a bachelor's in business administration. And I was naive enough to think that from now on, every single company wants me. Uh, they're just looking forward for me to apply as soon as possible. And I was applying to tons of places to find my very first job. And all I was getting was tons of rejections. Rejection after another, uh, or companies simply ignoring me, and that obviously let me down a lot. And it made me come back to my home country, because whenever we face a problem in a foreign country, all we want to do is just go back home, because it feels like this safe island. But uh, I didn't give up, and uh, I know that I need to continue my education but at the same time I knew that the education itself won't help me land a marketing job so I applied for a master's degree in marketing but um, I knew that as soon as I start my studies I would start looking for an internship as soon as possible. At the same time, I started uh, browsing through lots of resources. I was reading a Sam Raj blog a lot, Moz, Ahrefs, they helped me understand a lot about content marketing and search engine optimization. Also, in order to get a general understanding of marketing trends and marketing field as such, I was reading this uh, website that is called MarTech nowadays. And another thing that really helped me, I jotted down a list of at least 
10 marketing leaders that really inspired me. And I've read all possible interviews about them, listened to podcasts where they were invited as a guest. Um, I was following the companies they work for to learn from the best. 2016, I was accepted at another Finnish university and I started my master's degree in marketing. But like I said earlier, I kind of knew right off the bat that I don't want to focus on my studies as such. I want to acquire practical experience ASAP. And I uh, used to live back in the days uh, in this Finnish town and I simply started browsing the companies in uh, this town and then I found one and uh, I sent them an email basically saying that I'm looking for a marketing internship and that I'm a check of all trades and I'm simply seeking experience and of course I didn't get any reply because I guess my email was quite generic but I did not give up and I decided to give them a call and I remember there was this sales guy from the company that who picked up the phone and uh, I explained my situation, basically replicated the content of my email saying that I'm looking for a marketing internship. And he told me to just shoot an email to the CEO. And um, to me, it sounded quite unrealistic. I was like, how the heck a CEO would have time to read my email? Uh, but I still did send him an email. And eventually I got invited uh, just for a casual talk. And he gave me a test assignment. I remember it was to write an article about digital marketing trends. Uh, I unfortunately don't have this article, but I would really, really <laughs> love to read that because uh, I'm pretty sure it would make me cringe a lot. Anyhow, I sent him this test assignment and I think for about two weeks I didn't get any reply whatsoever. Um, I was completely frustrated. I thought that's the end of the world and, uh, you know, marketing is just not my field. I still did uh, uh, keep on applying to other places, but eventually some miracle happened and uh, I got an answer that my test assignment was quite satisfactory and they offered me a non-paid marketing internship. And they asked me for how long I'd preferred running that and I said the longest period that was possible um, in my study curriculum. So that was six months. And um, I started doing free work for a company, uh, knowing almost nothing about the world of marketing. And I was performing at a 300% capacity. I was trying to do my best simply to get a job offer afterwards. And here I would love to express some words of gratitude to my university professors because they were quite flexible about me not attending lectures, um, doing a lot of stuff remotely and just submitting my assignments, but not having physical presence at the university. And um, as I was performing at a 300% capacity at this company where I was doing my internship, eventually I got a full-time job offer from them. So um, the biggest learnings from here is that um, I was not waiting for any uh, job ads listed on LinkedIn or on any company's websites. I simply reached out to a company myself. And even if I didn't get a reply, I continued being persistent and I gave them a call. I visited their office. I myself proposed doing this test assignment. So being proactive is a must here. Throughout the next few years, I was crazy about everything I was doing at work. I loved the world of digital marketing and I wanted to go up the corporate ladder. And uh, eventually from a marketing specialist, I became a marketing manager. And uh, later on, I was substituting our team leader who was on a maternity leave and I was managing a marketing unit at our company. So what helped me achieve that is, first of all, always going the extra mile. Whenever I got any assignment, I would dedicate some extra hours at the same time, not overworking, of course, but just um, reading a lot of extra material, collecting some best practices, running competitor benchmarking. And uh, another thing that was super crucial is linking all of my marketing projects or ideas to the revenue of the company, to the bottom line. Uh, whenever we had our marketing brainstorming sessions, I would always ask uh, the team, 
what's the goal of this project? Why are we doing that? Should we dedicate like 20 hours of our work filming this video or writing this blog article? Um, will it bring any leads or sales results in the long run? Or is it just, you know, some kind of waste of time for us? So always question this. And in that way, in the eyes of management, you are seen as this strategic person and you get more chances to get a promotion. What also helps me a lot is I've been always an avid learner, especially when it comes to the world of marketing. I actually have a video on my channel about marketing courses that I recommend taking. So uh, whenever I took another marketing course or read an amazing blog article, I would always then educate my own colleagues, my own manager about that. Because when people learn something new from you, they associate you with this super valuable team member. And later on, when companies make a decision about promoting a person or coming up with a new role in a marketing department, they would think of you first and foremost. Nowadays, I work at a B2B marketing agency and uh, working in a customer facing role. And this is also an exciting journey because um, previously for about five years, I've always worked as an in-house marketer for one specific company. And today I work with various customers and that's an amazing experience. And I'm learning a lot literally every single day. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this video helped you share your story in the comments and uh, see you in my next videos. Bye bye.